Hi there, this is Joe. This video I'm going to demonstrate how to use PoE injector and PoE splitter. PoE power over internet allow us to use a single internet cable to send both power and network from the center to the remote IP device. In this case we are using the IP camera. So the IP camera will get the power and data from the center. Right now let's see what we need. This is the PoE injector from the fast cable link. And you can see that there's AC outlet which will connect this PoE is injected to the AC, that's the PoE injector get the power. Also there has two LAN, two port, RJ45 ports. One is the LAN, which will be connecting to the main network, receiving the data. And after the injector come back, both power and data it will send through the PoE port to the remote IP device. Alright, now this is the PoE speeder. You can see the PoE speeder also have one RJ45 port. It will receive the PoE from the injector. Also there have two separate cables. The speeder will split the power and data and then they will go through two separate cables. Alright, now let's set up. First, we connect the AC to the injector. Then we power up. You can see the power indicate light is turned on. Then we connect the LAN, LAN port to our switch that's the how how the injector get the data and also connect the long cable to the poe so we find the other end of the internet cable then connect to the PO speaker you can see once we plug in the power light power ld was turned on which means the speaker is getting the power from the injector right now we connect it into our camera this is the rj45 also the power. See once we plug in the camera is getting the power from the injector. Right, the system that's that's it, system is working. Oh one more thing. This is the positive injector and speeder you may see. It. You can see that's totally different from the standard PoE system. The the passive PoE injector speeder only take two pairs of the internet cable and send the power. So if you really know what is the voltage you are sending from the front end or also what is the voltage that your IP device need? It still can satis satisfy some simple application. All right, that's all. Thanks for watching.